Welcome to today's phone review. Today we are going to talk about Huawei Y9s. You stole my heart a phone with a 6.3 inches display, 4000 meters AH. This phone color is called the Breathing Crystal. It has a free silicon case included. Also a SIM card ejector pin. A fast charging adapter. A type C cord. And a pair of earphones. The phone's fingerprint scanner can be found here in the power button, which it has a grove. And the volume key can be found here on top of the power key. The phone has three cameras at the back, one is a 48MP, wide, another is an 8MP, ultra-eyed, and the last is a 2MP, depth sensor. To screen record press the power key and the upper volume key at the same time. Then just click allow. You would know that you had successfully recorded your screen if this would show up in your screen. Let's try out the gestures function of this phone. But if you don't like the gestures you could always switch back to the three button controls. But I prefer the gestures. So now we test out the camera of the phone. For the front camera of the phone, when you switch to front camera the camera would slowly pop up which is mesmerizing to see. Then when you switch to the rear camera the front camera goes back inside. Then we proceed to checking the other things the camera has. We start off with the slow-mo. Let's try the using the slow-mo on this lighter. Which is nice.
The phone also has a flashlight. In the options of the camera you have different options. But one specific option you have is Ultra Snapshot. It's where you could take a photo of something even in lock screen just press the down volume key two times. The phone also has different filters and they made the UI of the filter same as the old iOS phone's filters. Now we will try the zoom. We have the wide angle zoom. The normal view and the times 3 zoom. But the digital zoom can also reach up to 6 times. Google apps like the Play Store works on this phone. You could also project your phone onto a TV that supports wireless projection using the wireless projection in the settings of your phone. The phone is running on Android 9. In the tools there are cool things like party mode where you could all sync up all your devices to play the music louder than just only your phone. You could also install apps from here. Health is where you could add your smartwatches and other devices that you can use to monitor your health. In the battery settings you could change the setting of the battery by performance mode, power saving or ultra power saving. You could also change the text sizes for your convenience. Then the eye comfort option, to reduce the blue light emitted by the phone but uses more of your battery life. But thankfully you have 4000 mAh. So overall the phone is worth buying.